What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So today we do have a huge anime Funko Pop haul. We have a $25 anime Funko Pop mystery, hoping I hit one of the signed anime grails. As well guys, as we do have a few birthday pops that I never showed off on the channel. So a birthday haul and some really cool chases that finally came in after pre-orders finally got here. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so before we actually jump into this video, I did want to announce that I am actually going to Megacon this Friday. So I don't know if you guys want to come say hi, or uh, if you're going to be there also, and I'd love to meet some of you guys. I know a lot of you guys were asking me if I was going to Megacon, um, and what days I was going. So I am going Friday only, that me and Bailey will be there, and we're actually going to cosplay, and you'll see that later on in a different, uh, in the video and everything like that. Um, and I'll probably tease it on Instagram or whatever, but nonetheless guys, it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you are going to Megacon, don't hesitate to stop by and say hi if you'd like to. I'd love to meet some of you guys. Um, absolutely love meeting you guys when I go to my local mall and hunt and everything like that. It's a blast. And uh, Comic-Con's fun, so hopefully you guys have some cool cosplays if you do come and say hi. If you don't want to say hi, no big deal, but a lot of you guys were asking me, so I figured I'd kind of throw it in one of the videos that, yes, I am going, if you guys want to say hi. All right, guys, so today we do have a good deal of stuff to actually show to you. So I never actually told you guys what I actually got for my birthday, uh, which was back on July 30th, so we're about like 12, 13 days out, but I just never did a birthday haul, but I did tell you guys in a you know future video I would do that. So this is what this is, a little belated birthday haul, but still fun nonetheless. So um, I only got three pops for my birthday and then I got a bunch of other stuff. Um, so Bailey got me one and then my brother got me two. So yes, the first one that Bailey got me or the one that Bailey did get me was Nami from One Piece here. Now this is definitely Nami way farther in the series than I currently am, but she looks absolutely great in pop form. I've actually, I think I've had her pop before, but I never kept it because I think it was like pretty damaged and I decided to get rid of it and because I bought like a one piece lot and I kept only certain ones in the set. And now I finally do have Nami thanks to um thanks to Bailey, so that's really awesome. She is also a 21 a 2021 stickered one for anybody wondering. But anyways, guys, let's take a Nami out of the box because I've actually I don't think I've ever seen her out of box to my knowledge or it's actually been a good year. But yeah, guys, she is actually a really solid pop. Look at her. That's awesome. I think her hair details awesome. This is really awesome. One Piece is definitely next on my list to continue watching. Just caught up with My Hero Academia, um, starting Fire Force, starting so many other animes. A um, lot to catch up on, but One Piece is great. This is such a cool bop. Glad I finally own her. She is great. Next up, guys. Now, this one is certainly long overdue and one of the more hyped anime pops lately just because he does have a popular variant. Zoro. So Zoro was actually a really awesome one. It was long overdue. I actually was supposed to have this one in my collection for my last birthday last year. But what happened was my mom's boyfriend kept ordering it from me from Amazon three different times from the same seller. It came smashed every single time. I think the first time they sent it in a bubble mail mailer. And then the second time they sent it in a box and the box got smashed in shipping. And the third time it was in a protector also and the protector and uh, pop got crushed in a box. So I was like, Zoro just cannot survive shipping for some reason from Amazon. So, uh, but anyways, guys, looks like this one did actually survive and I'm overwhelmed in excitement to actually have this one. 2020 uh, stamped one as well, guys. So yeah, guys, I, I'm, I'm very excited. I haven't opened this one yet. I don't even think I've seen Zoro out of box personally. And yeah, I'm very excited to own him. I can't wait for that new one that's supposed to be rumored to be coming out next year, which is awesome. So let's take him out. And those are the, that's the back of these boxes for anybody wondering as well. It has uh, Nami, Zoro, Boa Hancock, and Frankie on the back there. Oh, he looks so cool. Three swords there, scar in the eye. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. I mean, I really love the Wano outfit, Zoro, as well. That's a really awesome detailed pop. But this is a great one. That's so cool. I like this. This is great. Oh, I love this. I'm so glad to finally have it. Even has a little scar on his chest. This is awesome. I think in the future, eventually, I'll probably do a full One Piece collection video when I do have them all. I am pretty close to actually finishing the set, other than that new Zoro, Brook, and like two or three more commons. I think I have a complete set. And I did that way faster than I thought I was going to. So the last thing that I actually did get for my birthday that was an actual Funko Pop, I did get a couple uh, 
pins, like enamel pins and things for the pin board that Bailey got me, but I'll probably show you guys that in a future like pin update video. Um, but anyways, guys, we did get Sokka for Avatar The Last Airbender, our wave right here. So I actually did not have him. Came across him a couple times, but he was always damaged, and I just never went out of my way to order him because I collect a million sets, so I'm either getting something for another set or maybe getting a different pop at that time. Anyway, Sokka looks great. Now, I've opened Sokka in the past before, so I don't need to open him today, but I did want to show you guys that um, he is actually really awesome. Look at that boomerang. This is awesome. Hopefully Sokka gets another variant in the future because there's so much that more they could do with him. He looks cool though. All right guys, so that was my birthday Funko Pop haul. So a lot of cool stuff. Got two One Piece Pops, which are great additions to the set, as well as Sokka for the Avatar The Last Airbender set. Now guys, I, you know, I kind of want to jump into this mystery box. Like typically I'd save it for last, but I've been holding on to this for like a week and a half now. I need to see what's in this box, all right? So I got this one from Toy Temple. I'm sure you guys know who that is. They had the Yami Merrick, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Exclusive. And yeah, guys, I saw this mystery box and I was like, you know what? You guys seem to enjoy mystery boxes from time to time on the channel. 25 bucks and it was guaranteed $20 back. So I was like, you know what? For that, I might as well go for it and see if I can get a really cool anime pop. I know they had like signed Gokus, they had signed Vegetas, they had some Protos in there, and there was like limited to 500 boxes. That's, not, that's actually a lot now that I think about it. I don't know. As, as long as I get my money back on the mystery boxes, I really don't care doing them for you guys, but I prefer to do a guaranteed one where I at least get most of my money back versus a huge gamble. And you guys know how I feel about mystery boxes. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Again, there was a lot of different pops in this. Again, 500 different boxes. But uh, nonetheless, guys, let's see what we got. Again, I did spend $25 on this box. So let's see if we got anything. Oh, this box is sold out, by the way, for anybody wondering. One, two, three. What do we get? Anything cool? Do I collect it? Oh, don't collect it. But I actually had a lot of good things to say about this pop because this is actually a really awesome pop. Not mad at this pool. I am not mad at this pool because over at Chalice, their exclusives are $20. And after shipping and everything like that, you'd pay almost $30. So if I went out of my way to actually get this, and probably on the second-hand market, I'd say I broke about even, and I'm not mad at that. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So, solid box. This is cool, though. I am actually really excited, because literally I say all the time, if I had a um, if I had Star Wars characters i get, General Grievous or Darth Maul, and I'm really happy with this Darth Maul. That's really awesome. So here he is, guys. So personally, I don't know the actual, you know, sword in his hand, what that's called. It kind of looks like the Mandalorian Darksaber, but I might have that wrong. Um, and But he does have a red lightsaber in the other hand. So I know the red lightsaber, and he's actually really, really cool. Love the spikes coming out of his head. Really awesome character. I love using him in the old PS2 games that I would play with an old friend named Isaac. Um, but this is actually pretty cool. So this is the first... Star Wars pop I might keep, actually. Like, not being a Star Wars fan, I can appreciate this pop so much. Comment down below, do you guys have this new Darth Maul pop? It is one of their newer uh, exclusives over there, and I think this is a really, really good one. Next up, guys, we do have a package from the Poppeteer. So they get a lot of anime pops, a lot of Star Wars, and a lot of different things um, actually in... Uh, you know, in stock a little earlier with the special edition stickers. So I'd actually ordered this one unknowing that someone wanted to actually send me a different stickered variation of this actual pop. So I paid like 30 bucks for this and I was like, oh, well that sucks. Because, you know, I did get another one free to review on the channel, which was awesome. Uh, so thank you, Poppeteers, again. But it was another Koshiki Bakugo. It was kind of funny. I kept telling you guys, I was like, you know what? Are you guys, uh, is anyone going to actually collect all four stickers? The special edition, Poppeteer's um, custom sticker, Hot Topic sticker, and the Hobby Stock sticker. I have two of the four, and I can go to Hot Topic and get the third. So will I have all the set, or will I have all of them, is the question. Probably not, because I don't need this many Bakugos. I already have four Bakugos, and five Bakugos now. I have two of the Hot Topic exclusive ones here. I have two SDCC ones, and I do have the common. Um, and one signed, which is nice. Um, but yeah, guys, I might just probably save this or trade this off because I personally don't need another one. 
Um, but yeah, it was just one of those things I ordered to review early for you guys because I know a lot of you wanted to check out the pop. Next up, guys, we do have a few AAA anime exclusive chases that I pre-ordered several months ago uh, that finally came in, which I'm very excited about. Now, I've actually already reviewed both of these chases on the channel, and I'm sure you guys already know, Kakashi Anbu and Minato. And these were my actual orders. AAA anime sent them over early on. Actually, really good shipping uh, via Dragon's Trading as well. I wanted to mention that. Um... But yeah, AAA Anime, they reached out, they want to send over um, almost all of the actual AAA Anime exclusive chases and things that they had that they wanted me to review, which was super nice of them, was not expecting that, and that was an awesome opportunity. So again, thank you uh, AAA Anime, thank you so much, that was really awesome of you guys to do, and very nice and kind. Um, but anyways guys, let's take out our Kakashi and Minato chase bundles. now. I'm actually keeping this Kakashi and Minato chase bundle in this one uh, because though AAA Anime did actually send over a Kakashi, Anbu, and uh, Chase thing, I actually gave those away over on Instagram for you guys. Those were all giveaways. That was the whole plan to actually give away all those pops. I was talking with them. They're like, oh, you can do giveaways after you're done reviewing them. I was like, you know what? That's perfect because I've already ordered all these pops anyway. So it's a fun thing. It's a fun video early look for you guys and you guys get a chance at a really cool giveaway. And more giveaways coming, for example, like the Trafalgar Law and Chase Common. Those are coming as a giveaway soon to Instagram. So make sure to be following me over on Instagram or maybe I'll do them in a video. That might be fun too. Maybe in a future video, stream, we'll see. Anyways, guys, let's uh, let's let's show off the uh, Kakashi Anbu and uh, Minato Chases again. I won't unbox them, but I appreciate Dragon Trading shipping. So we do have the Chase in Common again. Again, guys, if you want to check out a full in-depth review, you can check it out. It was I posted about two weeks ago. You can find it on the channel. Very awesome video. It was a lot of fun, and I really did enjoy making it. And this is such a solid Kakashi Anbu Chase set. Absolutely love the Common. But the chase is really nice as well. And the final thing to show off on this video, guys, we did actually get our order finally from Dragon's Trading of the Minato Chase Bundle. So the reason I... Is you know, just am now getting this is because I ordered them together and they shipped them together. I could have paid extra in shipping. I didn't want to. I'd rather just wait. And AAA Anime also sent over a Hokage Naruto chase to me as well as a Minato chase as well. So I have extras now. <laughs> I have so many extra chases. This is crazy. What a world we live in. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'll probably just sell or trade off this set personally because I don't need four of the same pops or two of the same pops of each. Um, so yeah, that's probably what I'll do with these. But nonetheless, I wanted to show you guys that I did finally get them in and it's exciting nonetheless. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that big anime haul. I mixed it in with a little bit of a mystery box that I picked up for you guys. Unfortunately, guys, we didn't get an anime pop in there. I was really hoping for one of the signed ones or a proto, which would have been nice. But mystery boxes are a gamble 1000%. That's why I don't do them too often. But it was still fun to try. Um, and we got a really cool Darth Maul pop, which was awesome. As well, guys, Sokka from Avatar is obviously not an anime pop, but it's an animation. It's pretty close. And uh, yeah, guys, they, there was just a lot of fun stuff in this video, a lot of different animes. So if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so much for the continued support. I love you guys, and I truly do appreciate it. You guys make all kinds of cool things happen on the channel. So again, thank you guys so much. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I love you guys. I just want to tell you guys to make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's by Sonetry, and you can make a ton of friends as well as be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. All right, I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.